What's up guys, so we are back with episode 4 of the first season of House Flipper, which is Garden After House Construction. And as you may know, from episodes 1, 2 and 3, we did all of the interior. I'm not going to open the door and show you just in case you haven't seen them. And if you haven't seen the first three episodes, you can click at the cards at the top of the video, which will be up there now. Or go onto my channel, go into playlist and it'll all be there. And you can catch up and then come back to this video, keep track of it all. And then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of my future episodes. And yeah, so in today's episode, we are going to be doing the outside. Well, as much of it as we could get done, because as you can see, it is a very, very big outside, seeing as this is a garden map. So the house was big, the outside's bigger. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of uh, turf sod, all that sort of thing. But first of all, we need to paint the house. So if we go into our tablet, go into walls, now, normally, I'd use either the wall tiles and go for these, which are nice, small, little ones. But they take forever, and so do the panels as well, because they have brick ones down there. But if I just quickly show you, I'm, it's going to waste a bit of money. But as you can see, you have to put those down, and then you're basically constantly doing that, which is going to take forever to do. And why did it do that one, first of all? It shouldn't have done that one first, but there you go. And then I'd have to do that all the way around it all. And then do it all around the top as well. So we're not going to bother with those. It's going to take too long. So we're going to have to find a paint to do. Because it'll just be a lot quicker. So let's go into paint. And I don't really want to use any of the colours that I've used inside. Because I think that would just look really bad. So I can't use like biscuit or anything like that. So if we go to... We could try light cream. I don't know if we've used that inside. Or we could try natural beige grey beige let's buy a pot of that so that was the grey beige and then if we go for the natural one as well and put that on that side we can compare the two and see which one we prefer out of them so if we do that quickly grab that one let's just do that and that so that one's slightly lighter I'm actually preferring the slightly lighter one rather than the dark one Okay, so we have finally finished painting. Took a while to get it all done, especially those little bits up there because you actually had to jump while on the scaffolding to get the very top bits done. Very, very awkward to do, but I think it looks good, that colour. I'm all right with that one. That looks pretty good. It should match up all right with it, the inside. And I also forgot that I had to do this, so luckily I had enough paint left over that I managed to get all this done as well. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Now we actually have to focus on what we're actually doing to the actual garden. So, obviously, first of all, we need to lay loads of turf sod. So that's going to take quite a while to do. And then we're going to have to put in some paths, obviously, up to the front door. And then I'm thinking of actually doing a path going all the way around the house. Especially as soon as we need to work off of this gate going up to the garage anyway. We need to do our little drive there. So, obviously, we could connect a path over to that. And then maybe do one coming around this side where we can maybe have a few bits down here. And then a nice patio area out the back. Maybe try and fit a swimming pool in if we can. But, yeah. So, I'm going to focus on putting all of that in. Don't worry, you guys aren't going to have to watch me lay down all the turf sod and all that stuff. I'll cut that out of the video. But, I'm going to get started on that. So, I will see you in a second. Okay, so after spending what feels like forever getting this garden done, I think it's taken me about three days in real life trying to plan it all out and get it all right, we're finally done. So let's have a little tour of it, shall we? So we've got our little drive going up to the garages all the way up there. Pretty basic stuff, just laying down some uh, tiles. And I hate the way the game always lags when it auto-saves, but that's just part of it. That's just what happens. So we've put our driving going up to the garage. We put down a little bit of stone aggregate there. Just to make it look a little bit different. So you can sort of come up here. Have that little extra space. And then this bit is just sort of. If you need that little bit more room. But I tried to keep that in line. With these gates here. I just thought it looked better that way. And then because there wasn't really anything else to do. With this little bit of grass here. I just put some bushes down. Wasn't really much to it. I just needed to fill the space with something. And then we've got our front garden. Which I think looks really pretty. I think it looks awesome. So we've got some pear trees 
in there. We've got obviously a little bit of stone aggregate making little squares on the floor. Looks quite nice. And then we've got some tomato plants and some pretty little flowers. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. We've got some plants here as well. Just why not? And then we've got a pond as well. I wish that they could make it so you could actually put stuff in the pond. I don't like the fact that the pond is just plain like that, but that's just the way it is. They need to update the game a bit more, I think. I think there's a lot more stuff that they could add into this game, but I'm sure they'll get around to it eventually. And then we just filled this little gap here with some more bushes. Why not? But we did put in a nice little pathway going around. So, we've put down some more stone aggregate as the pathway, rather than using these tiles. I thought we'd make a nice little change to it, rather than just having these floor tiles down, just going all the way around. And then we put a little fence in as well. Kept these plants going all the way around. We've got some lights as well, over here. So, when it's night time, you can obviously see your way walking around if you want to. And if we go all the way around, we're now finally in the proper garden. Which, you know... it. It was big, but once you start putting in furniture, it becomes very small. You don't realise the size of it until you actually put in something to compare it to. But let's start over here. We have got our nice little doggy house. Little food and water bowl for it. It was a nice little thing to put in there. I could have put in some kids toys and that, but I thought it looked better with a pet thing. And then we've got our shed. Pretty boring. Couldn't really think of anything to put in it, so I just left it empty. You get the idea of it though, it's a shed. That's what, you know, everyone knows that shed is basically to put in any garden junk or anything like that. And then we've got a little bit of decking just leading off to it to sort of separate it a little bit from the main area. We've got a little birdhouse here, quite nice. And then we've got our pergola, which I think is alright. There's multiple different ones you could go for, but I quite like the open one in this rather than having a cover over the top. And then we've got a fire pit, so you can chill out here of an evening, stay warm, have a few drinks with friends. Some nice sofas as well, so it's all quite quite a lot of seating around there. Obviously, I had to leave one side open, couldn't put anything here, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get in. As I can show you here, even if you jump and crouch, you can't get in. We've got some nice little water features with lights in them. You can't really see the lights during the daytime, but... I like those, they're quite nice. I was going to try and do them all the way along, but it just looked really bad, so I got rid of them. We've got our little sun lounges here, a little table to put your drinks on, another little light here, just for the fun of it. Takes up a bit of space, otherwise the table looks boring. And then we've got a few lights around our garden. We've got some there, we've got them dotted over there, over there, all the way around. We've got a nice little swimming pool, which, you know, it's not really that great i don't see how you can swim in that i don't see how it's deep enough to swim in i'd rather have put down a hot tub to be honest i probably should have done that but we put that in and it fit quite nicely in the little gap here with the garage as you can see it just sort of overlaps slightly but i think that's because i didn't put it oh maybe i did put it right up to the edge but it doesn't look too bad overlapping and then we've got a little table here so you can have your little barbecues out here another little light on it i mean i think i've done a good job with the garden it's quite hard to work out what you want to do with a garden because with the inside of the house, obviously you know what rooms you need and you know what needs to go in the rooms. So with a kitchen, you need a kitchen counter, sink, oven, fridge. It's pretty basic stuff. Bathroom, simple, toilet, shower, bath, sink, living room, sofas, TV, maybe a computer. It's not that hard to do. Whereas the garden is basically just an open canvas. You know, you don't really know what to put into a garden, really. I mean, obviously, yeah, table and chairs, but where do you put them? What do you do with them? It's quite a lot to do. The way that I really compare it is the interior of a house is like paint by numbers, whereas the garden is pretty much trying to do an oil painting from memory. It's quite hard to do. you just got to use your imagination and things like that. It's, it's a little bit awkward, but I think I've done a pretty good job with it. If we just quickly go inside though, and upstairs, let's go out to this balcony first, because I have actually worked out how to put put plants on the balcony, and that's you have to put the pots down first. I thought I could just put down a potted plant, but any of the plants that you see, if we go into our plants, these, any of the ones with pots on them, you actually have to dig down and bury them. They're not actually just proper pots, you have to buy a separate pot and then put in some non-potted plants. If we just go into plants again, I came out of it too soon. 
So some of these ones where they've not got the pots on them. It's, it's really confusing, but I finally figured out how to do it. It's a little bit awkward getting in and out. As you can see, it's all jitters and jolts as you try and step over it. A little bit. Can I get back in? Okay, let's try going through that way. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. We made it. But yeah, I've finally figured out how to do stuff on there. So that's that balcony. And then we did this balcony as well. We've got some nice little sun lounges here. I wanted to put a table between really, but obviously not enough room. And then we've got some more potted plants there. So this is the entire garden, as you can see from up here. Probably get a better view from up here. Can I not jump up on there? But No, no, I didn't want to jump off. Oh, well, I jumped off. But it looks pretty good. I think I've done a good job with it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it or if you would have done anything different. I think it looks pretty good. And then we've got our garage over here, which we will be doing in the next episode. As you can see, it's all pretty much blank in there. I have painted the walls white just to make it easier for when we're doing it in the next episode. If you don't want to miss that one, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you'll get to see that as well. And of course, all my videos will be in the playlist for House Flipper. But once we do this episode, the garage one, that will be the end of this season, which is just in time for Borderlands coming out. So... Obviously, I'll be doing some Borderlands 3 videos. I've got my Ancestor ones coming out as well. So once I get to the end of the series of Ancestors or Borderlands, whichever one finishes first, we'll then come back to House Flipper and do Season 2. So if you do know this game and you know the different houses on it, let me know in the comments which house you want to see me do in Season 2. If not, I'll probably just pick one at random or maybe pick the uh, Breaking Bad one. And yeah we'll get on to season two so definitely subscribe that way you won't miss the next episode on this one and also season two and, and all of my other awesome content like borderlands 3 and ancestors which i'll be doing and obviously i'll still be every so often uploading videos of human full flat because i know you guys like watching those they're quite cool but yeah i guess i'll see you in the next one peace out